Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, and uh, good morning, guys. Yes. Yes. Where are you? <laughs> where are you? Oh, handsome. <laughs> Thank you. Guy is handsome, nè. Camera không được ta. Sim, nè. Yes, just a little bit. I turn off my camera. How are you? Trúc, long time no see. Yeah, long time no see you. Yeah, I'm good. How about you? You see, nah, I'm, I'm really good. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you cannot turn on your camera, Sim. Yes, because I'm going to go and get high. Okay, the tài khoản Zoom của em em nó bị sao? We speak English now because we uh, yeah, sorry. So we, when I click, yes. we create the uh, English atmosphere. Yes, yeah, so because so maybe I uh, I am using my um, sister's uh, Zoom account, so got the trouble with the camera. Mm, okay. Okay. So we always, uh, we always, one, two, three, four, five, we, we create what? We create the English atmosphere, right? Okay, do you know atmosphere? Yes. Okay, and what is atmosphere? What is atmosphere, Sim? Let me see, atmosphere as a... So, like a vibe or a space. First of all, atmosphere is a, like a zone in the... We, uh, we study about the environment. environment. Mm. So, uh, yeah, in this uh, zone, it's a... Uh, have an atmosphere or uh, a sort of sphere in like, like, like this. is a sphere. In the, let me see. Yeah, and what is atmosphere two? I record a video so you can uh, watch it again. Okay, so after I will make one group, then I will post that video, then uh, we can watch again, again, and again. Okay. Okay, tell me what is atmosphere, Minh Thư? Where is Minh Thư? Sure. I think atmosphere is the air. That's what... Uh, like... Um, the zone and... Uh, the air or what uh, we, we, we need for the life. Okay, now you see when I speak, when I say we create the English atmosphere. So what I want to say and what you know and what you understand about this word atmosphere. Okay. And Tok, what is atmosphere? Tell me. Um, I think atmosphere is the air that we breathe in this. Ah, okay. Then Kai. Yes, I th think atmosphere is the areas we um around us, and we can uh example tell there are two meanings. I I thought there are two meanings. The first meaning, according to the dictionaries, we can see that there are gas or the areas around us, and the second meaning is the areas. Hmm. Okay, actually, atmosphere is like okay. This example, this is the uh, this is our land. We are standing here. 
This is our land. We are standing here. Okay. Uh, you know, you know, this is this is the sky, right? This is the sky. Okay. And this is a, we say this is a, at the land we say zero here, zero point here, and up to up to ten thousand or uh, ten thousand. Mm, I remember, and that uh, up to ten thousand kilometer, ten thousand kilometer. Okay, ten thousand kilometer. Uh, up to sixteen thousand kilo thousand kilometers. Okay. So, uh, so these two number I don't remember exactly, but this in these two number from zero to ten thousand to sixteen thousand kilometers from our Earth, right? From our Earth. Okay. Uh, up to we move to the uh, the sky, fly. Okay, and. So all the activities happen here. The rain and you know the rain, the wind, the you know the velocities of the winds. Or all the activities happen in this area, okay? In this area, from zero to sixteen or to to, to sixteen kilometers, okay? So this this area we call atmosphere, okay? This area we call atmosphere. And up to that, up to that, so what we call, so up to that 16,000 kilometers, I will check that. But now you, sh you should understand that on the activities, okay, the, uh, whenever you see the rain, whenever you see the uh, wind, or uh, you see the, 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 the so many, many uh, pheno phenomena, so happen in this area. And then we call that atmosphere, clear. And up to that, up to that, up to uh, atmosphere, this area. So and and we come to another atmosphere. So another atmosphere. There is no activities in this atmosphere. So what we call space. Okay, space. And that's why atmosphere is not space. Atmosphere is atmosphere, and space is space. No activities in this, uh, in this area. Understand, Sim? Hello, hello, Sim. Yes. Yes. Okay. So whenever somebody asks you atmosphere, uh, and don't say it is space, and don't say it is air. Air is in atmosphere in that area everyone understand so when we say we create the English atmosphere means okay so everywhere everywhere in this area everywhere everybody must speak English yeah and we feel with English and we hear English okay we speak English and we hear English okay understand now you understand everyone yes Okay, and uh, now we need to answer one question. Why do we need to learn? Even right now, you learn a lot. Ne? Why do we need to learn? Now you learn a lot. Let's, let's answer the question. Why do we need to learn? So may we ask this question to uh, our students? Right, because we need to help them to understand why why do we need to learn, what to learn we talk later, but why why we do why do we need to learn? Who who can answer why do we need to learn? Or you get, or you just say why we need to learn? Right? No 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 need do here. Okay, when we write and we say why do we need to learn, but when we speak, we just say why we need to learn. Yeah. Okay, Mandha, tell me why do we need to learn?
Yeah, because I think knowledge is um so uh, so large, and uh, we need to learn to improve your your knowledge. But why now? Why you need knowledge? Why you need knowledge? I am mean, I mean like that now. And knowledge is very large. You say very big, uh, tremendous. Okay, but I I'm asking why. Tell me one reason why you need to learn. <laughs> you can. Okay. So, <laughs> the very so simple uh, don't yes. don't 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 be don't be tension because this is a simple question. I just asked. Yes. Okay. Okay. Can I can I answer, sir? Yes. Okay. I think as uh, we uh, we need to operate our uh, uh, ourselves, and um, mm. the life is tra it changes every day. So that the reason why we we need to uh, operate uh, ourselves. To uh, maintain the life and the, the as mental said, uh, the knowledge is very important. So that's the reason why the, we should learn, learn, learn day by day. And uh, so I think um, a learning will help us uh, very much in our life. Mm. It change, even though it change our life. Yeah. Yes, and knowledge in the life. So I think uh, we should learn. To help us and help everyone is the uh, surrounders. Mm. Yes, you can say we need to learn because when I learn, I feel happy. You can say you can uh, speak like that, nah. no problem. Yes. You, you need to break yourself, uh, and uh, you need to uh, you need to uh, what you need to uh, you just says you can help another people, right? Yes. Okay, that is your reason. And uh, Thanh Trúc, why do we need to learn? Why you need to learn? Um, I think learning will help me to improve my skill and art. This, um, and I think it is necessary for everyone to to do that. Uh. You need to improve your skill or something like, uh, or you can say, we need to learn to earn uh, much money like that. That's your one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's correct. Okay, Kai, why, why do we need to learn? Yes, uh, the first case, I think we need to learn because um, we need to upgrade ourselves mm. uh, because this is the key to move on. Mm. And everyone needs to don't let them into their like or they're the terrible area because if you don't go on and you just stay here and nothing happen next and we can change everything yes okay so there i saw a lot of answer okay so a lot of answer uh, you have your aspect you have your respective now i give you one reason why do we need to learn Okay, you can consider because we are not human. We are not human. Okay, then you say, why? Why you say like that? Why teacher say, I am not human. I'm human, and you say I'm not human. But actually, we are not human. We are. We are Homo sapiens. Who we are? Homo uh, sapiens. You know, you know, we are Homo sapiens. You know sapiens? Yes. Oh, sorry, sapiens. Last a book, so we have a book of sapiens. Uh, language, I guess. And what is what is Homo sapien? You must you must know what is Homo sapien, then you can understand. You you uh, 
um, uh, Sim, tell me what is Homo and what is Sebian? As I just uh, see the, the word Sebian from the book. Yeah, so we have I, a, we have that book. Now you can read the book Homo Sebians. Yes. So I, uh, I, I don't know much about this word, so can you help us to explain this? Yes, yes. I will explain now because I will explain yes. everything now. Because first I need to ask now, like you ask your student, you need to ask them, then let's see how they reply and what is in their mind. Yeah. Yes. Andrew, you know Homo Sabian? No. I haven't heard it before. Yeah. Mentor, you know that? And a guy. Sorry, I have no idea for that works. Okay. Just say, just know it's Vietnamese, but not exactly the meaning. Okay. Actually, homo means human. Okay. And Sabian means intelligence okay means knowledge knowledge or uh, intelligence okay so actually we are not human we are homo sapiens and uh, it means we have this part this body right this body we call human the physical the things that you can touch clear the things here you can touch you can touch your skin or your body so this body we call human and in sabian is intelligence mind knowledge inside okay you cannot see knowledge you cannot see intelligence you cannot see sabian because we uh, we have animal acceptance we have what? We have animal. Assistance. Clear. And what is animal assistance? Animal assistance, you know. You, you know. So in Bible, you, you will read the, the story that we come from Adam and Eve. We come from God. God created us. Yeah. But as a science science says we come from animal yeah they do research that our gene you know our gene we come from animal so that's why we are uh, uh, we are homo sapien so you, maybe you believe in the in, in the christian view or you believe in the uh, you know science view yeah but actually when they do research they do reset our chin then we come from animal so we have animal assistance and what is animal assistance animal assistance means you can see this is a circle when the big animal the strong animal eat the small the small and the weak animal yeah is it, it, it is simple the lion can eat the deer the lion they eat what the, the deer example Lion eat the deer, and the deer can eat the the deer can eat the just example the deer can eat the fish, and fish can eat the smaller smaller animal smaller, like uh, eat the 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 um, bacteria example, bacteria, example like that, and we eat what we eat. <laughs> We eat animal. We eat vegetable. We eat we eat uh, uh, fruits. Where? Yeah. So this type of character in us, we have that. So that we call animal assistance. And now we become humo, uh, homo sapiens. We become uh, like that. Means we are not human when you will become human, real human. When you become real human, real humans, we are different animal right now. 
Right now we are different from animal because we have sapiens. We have sapiens mean we have intelligence mean we have knowledge. Clear? Yeah. And when we become when you just become human when you have knowledge. Clear? Yeah. And when you don't have knowledge, you are not human. You can say you are Homo sapiens or clear. Yeah. You are not human. Eh? If you don't study, you don't have knowledge, then you are not human. And don't say I am a human. You are not human. Understand or not? Now you understand uh, why we need to learn. We need to learn because we want to become human, real human. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when we become human, <laughs> we should not eat the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Lie, lie, lie. Okay, we talk that like in business now. Like in 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 business, like the big company that they can they can eat the small company. Like that, na. Like the big animal that can eat small animal. Okay, so that's we see that we see what happening uh, in our in our human like that. Okay, and that's it. The first question. Now you ev everyone is clear or not? Clear. It's clear. Okay. Now the second question. So now we uh, we need to learn. We try to learn to become human. And this means we try to get knowledge. And what is knowledge? What is knowledge? Yeah. Okay. Now we have to know where we get knowledge. We are we we already know why we need knowledge, but where to get knowledge? And this is a very big question. So now nowadays people try to trying to learn. What they trying to learn to get knowledge. But where? Where to get knowledge? Now I'll answer. Sim, where to get knowledge? Yeah, I think um, knowledge is it in uh, everywhere uh, in our life and even is uh, appear in uh, in each thing uh, in our life. You can see, uh, you, uh, you can study uh, anything from the uh, the thing around you or from the book from uh, but to fire the real knowledge is the heart so we should to uh, we, we should as a resort or find the real uh, the real uh, source to uh, to get our knowledge mm. yes yeah, you mean that knowledge yes. is everywhere yes but we should to uh, select the real knowledge because yeah 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 yeah. In, yeah yes in mean yeah. what is real yes i am asking that question real knowledge now <clears throat> yes because knowledge is this is the uh, the bad knowledge and the uh, and the good or the great knowledge so so we should uh, uh for the real knowledge yes actually uh knowledge itself is good now knowledge itself is good there's no bad or good knowledge okay but we will learn that later as people make that fake knowledge or something like we will talk later where well, <clears throat> you means now knowledge is everywhere then uh, you can get knowledge everywhere right okay okay mental where you where we get this knowledge and what is knowledge? First, what is knowledge and where we get that knowledge? <clears throat> the first one, I think knowledge is uh, that's what you uh, you can you can get um, maybe in the school uh, in book um, it's my, it has many ways 
to get knowledge maybe in uh, the internet uh. and um uh i think knowledge uh, is um maybe it's <laughs> maybe i what <laughs> So yeah, so sorry for interrupting. So Mr. Johnson, knowledge with your lack of letter D. Ah, okay. Yes. Mm. <clears throat> okay, stop. Tell me um, what is what is real knowledge. Our uh, I think real knowledge is the information that about our subject that we uh that we can get. Uh, by experience or study from someone, uh, from another, uh, you can guess from our. Uh, ev- you can get uh, real knowledge from everyone, everywhere, or uh, all from everyone. Um, mm, maybe uh like that you can study from school, uh, from your business or. Um, uh everyone around you yeah i think that okay 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 last guy tell me yes knowledge is a true information we can learn from another person or if learn from book or uh in life experience and everything that we need to put in our mind and um to apply this in then what we need to do in the next time Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. And uh, actually, no one can define what what is knowledge. <laughs> no one can define that because it's very big. <laughs> it's very very big. We cannot define it easily. Very wide. Okay. By simple definition, we cannot understand what is knowledge, and that's why, until now, we still learning. We are learning because we don't know what is knowledge, right? We are trying to get knowledge, and right now we are still learning to understand what is knowledge because it is very wide. Now. And what is real knowledge, right? That, that now here is a very important question. What is real knowledge? Because whenever you read a book, you read a a piece of paper, okay. When you get that information, that information, okay, that information, you you get from that books or anywhere, from the paper anywhere. Then many people think that information is knowledge. No, that is maybe. It's just maybe. You have to check it. Maybe it's not knowledge. It is. It is fake. No. Yeah, the it maybe is in the view of somebody. But it is not knowledge. And don't think that when you read book or somewhere, then you can have knowledge real knowledge no yes you can read any book but after you have that that's time you have you have my or you have something to check it and that's why now we teach you we teach you how to check that knowledge is right or wrong okay you will know right or wrong yeah because people are uh, Gullible, do you know gullible? Most of the people are gullible. Even teachers, you are even teachers, nah. Most of them are gullible. Gullible person. Everyone know gullible person. Gullible means gullible person means a person can easily believe in something. Just hearing. A person who can easily believe in 
believe in something just just what here here say just here say here say okay when they hear something and they believe in that they don't check it they don't read they don't check then they just believe example i say i say banana is good for you if you eat that in the morning it's very good if you eat the banana in the afternoon it's, it's just like uh, you eat silver and if you eat in the evening then you got sick so now people just hear that then they believe in that they don't check it yeah they don't check it what is wrong you i'm talking right or wrong here even what i what i'm talking here you have to check it i don't say i don't say you you have to or you must believe in me and believe in what i'm saying here no so what i'm saying here you have to check it check it carefully okay and now i am talking about gullible person gullible person a person who can believe in anyone easily okay even they are teachers or they are who are they okay we don't care maybe they have a big name they are the doctor or they are engineers are they that they, they, they have they have certificate or something like that on but actually when you say girly person is mean we are we are we are we want to talk about idiots okay they are idiots yeah information is is knowledge or not we have to check it yeah now to uh, to understand what is knowledge to understand to understand knowledge okay i just say knowledge you have to understand what is facts and what is real sorry you have to understand number one what is facts number two what is truth what is facts and what is truth okay you write that or not or you don't write if i don't watch video then you remember or not you should take note now quit take notes because if you don't take note then uh, you don't remember because you will forget that easily i am sure even you and me for the first time we understand but we will forget it that is normal that's our brain okay everyone is like that Uh, what is knowledge and when we say what is knowledge just common people cannot understand what is knowledge common people cannot understand cannot understand knowledge okay 
when you write cannot don't write cannot like this okay this is wrong nah. cannot like this or you just write like this can i see some i see many students nah. they write cannot they put the gap here like this nah. no 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 gap here no space here okay so this we can call space because nothing happened in this Okay, we put we write like this cannot or can't. Clear. Can not or can't like. And this is wrong. Cannot this is wrong. It's not wrong but have it has a different meaning different common people when we say common people uh, the people who is not educated they cannot understand what is knowledge uh, we have one idiom we have one idiom I, I know you know this idiom or not caviar to caviar to the general whenever we say caviar to the general what does it mean what does it mean do you know caviar everyone see my thing I think you know caviar 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 let me see sorry caviar no yes sorry. caviar at the british always say caviar like something caviar but it's a latin word we say caviar caviar yes caviar you can if you like then you say caviar because most of the people say caviar like hmm I said English now. Nice. I said English as more clear than than why you speak it's, Vietnamese. It's like a as as Is Vietnamese we call it? Cat cat tang. Word is maybe I didn't. I, I don't know well about this word. Yes. Caviar. Uh, caviar is a. Uh, is an ex of fish is an ex of fish but this is the most costliest as x in the world this is the most costliest costly yes x in the world one kilo one kilo of uh, caviar is has is has not how many thirty thousand thousand million vietnam dong it means thirty five thousand dollars just only one kilo okay if you go to landmark 81 in Vietnam, in, in this one landmark 81 you can try <laughs> you can uh, yes you can just yes, only one uh, one million or two million vietnam dong you can you can try the caviar there a small just small like this nah. just a spoon <laughs> one spoon like that is what it has the cost the cost of that is one million vietnam dong landmark 81 right you can uh, enjoy because i see many uh, people they uh, uh, I see many people they uh, they make video about uh, landmark 81 and they show they show this uh, egg fish clear it's very before now nah. just nowadays you can eat that you can take that if you have money but 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 before this is the the egg of fish in uh, you know Iran it's, it's, it's come from Iran Iran and uh, Italy and now it has in Italy and Iran and Italy so 
before only super rich people can eat this can eat this egg not rich super rich super rich people can eat that egg okay because they take that the egg of that fish then they put saw they put saw in it and then they say I wish this price and uh, if you give this egg fish for common people we say common people because we have uh, educated and uneducated common people when they take this axe then they say what shit when you give the very you know the costly is uh, costly is uh, egg uh, food in the world is in the most no, nothing can compare the most costly is food in the world but you give for common people who don't know the value of this then they say that when they take that they say Bleh. they split right they say oh shit what what i'm eating here like that so what does it mean means this is the idiom of shakespeare do you know shakespeare yes. this sent this was shakespeare Shakespeare, the English writer, he is an English writer in in one Hamlet. Hamlet means yes. uh, in, in in one Hamlet in uh, in that drama. In this drama, he he wrote very clear that the caviar to general. And now you understand caviar. And now what is general? The general here, general. General here means general public. General public. So means we are talking about mass or common people. Mass or common people. Mass is the the lower class in societies. The lower class. When we talk about mass, it means we talk about general public, common people, lower class in the societies who don't have knowledge okay who don't have knowledge then wh when they say when when he say the general man you have to understand this that's his common people mass so when he say when you give this food this act to whom to mass or to common people and what they feel they feel nothing they feel like a shit huh? So they don't appreciate that. So what does it mean here? If you give good knowledge, good knowledge for whom? For common people, for mass, and they don't appreciate that. They say, well, what knowledge? What you are talking about? No, they don't consider, they don't lie they don't appreciate the knowledge so if you give the good knowledge for wrong person wrong person then knowledge become nothing clear yes mm. so sakbir the, the the author's name is sakbir yeah but, uh, i guess yes he's cake, very he's very famous Really, I'm Shakbir, so you you misunderstand the word let it be. Oh, sorry, Shakespeare. Okay, okay, say that here. Yeah. Shakespeare. Yes. <clears throat> so when you give something, when you give something of good knowledge for someone. Then they say they don't or oh, they don't I don't like they don't want to learn I, I, I why I have to learn like that so last time you just say oh caviar to the general you speak like that okay I know caviar to the general means I give you something good but you don't appreciate that now now I don't care you just scare the people who just scare the people who 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 appreciates what you are giving to them yeah and if they don't appreciate that leave it leave it 
okay because because one apple can you know we we have one an, another idiom that one apple sorry rotten apple rotten apple can spoil uh, uh, a rotten apple okay a rotten apple can spoil on good apples a rotten apple can spoil on good apples if you put on the goose apple in the baskets okay or in the bag or some, some somewhere and there is only one rotten apple you know rotten uh, mental something bad nah? bad bad smell it is it, is damaged already okay and it spoil on the good apples so in your class if one student one student or two students they are like a rotten apple not good student then remove them remove them nah? because the, if not they will affect to another student When I, in my class, when uh, some students are not good, then I, then I say very clear. I say you don't need to sit here. You don't need to sit in my class, nah? And I I always ask them why do you need why do you need to learn? Why you sit here? So your parents fox you or what? So if you want to learn, if you want to get knowledge here, good knowledge here, then you sit. And if you don't like this class, then you can leave it you can go and don't come back you you have to talk to your student like that now talk very clear and if you don't study then so after your parents blame on me blame on me is why my student don't have good results why you cannot teach my children no i teach your children but they don't want to learn because uh, they are a rotten apple they don't want to learn i try myself i try my best now to teach your children but they don't want to learn and what i can do i give them caviar i give them caviar but they don't want to learn okay and after that don't blame on me don't blame on me i am not good i'm not good teacher something like you have to speak clear so every day you talk like to this thing to your student like that clear Talk to them very clear every day and remind them, remind them. You should be a good apple or good student, don't be a rotten apple. Because sure, 100% if you are rotten, then one day we will remove you. Now, now to understand what is truth, to get knowledge, you have to understand what is truth, what is fact, and to understand what is fact, what is truth, you have to understand what is plan, how plan works. Mm. You have to understand. You have to understand what is plan, what is plan and how brand works okay how brand works so this is the first step of how you, you understand the brand first if this is the first step or first stage of getting knowledge this is the first step Mm, step of or you can say stage the first stage of knowledge this is the first step of the stage of knowledge okay then we have to understand why we cannot understand why sometimes we listen and we forget that 
we 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 are not study we are not open the our brain and do surgery or something like no right now we don't study that right now we we understand the problem of the brain okay the problem of the brain the problem of the brain okay now number one the first problem of the branch is akata mathesia akata mathesia this is the first the the, the first problem of the brain akata mathesia you speak uh, everyone speak like that akata mathesia akata mathesia <laughs> This is Latin words, no? Latin. It's come from Latin, and uh, don't afraid that. Don't afraid the words uh, look, uh, looks long like that. No? Don't afraid. You will understand it easily. It's just a piece of cake. Uh, mental speak, uh, akatamatesia. Akatamatesia. Yes. You just speak like that, akatamatesia, because don't afraid that your your pronunciation is wrong, like. Some one they say your pronunciation is wrong, but they don't understand because if this were a uh, a uh, a uh, sound, nah, this in Latin is come from Latin and from Latin they they speak like that, nah, a uh, like Vietnamese, nah, a uh, simple, ah, uh, nah. example how you speak this word, how you pronounce this word, okay, how do you pronounce this word? Yeah, so a <laughs> lot. Uh, According to American accent, they say daters. Data. 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 Yeah, data. Data. Yes. Data. Uh, data. Uh, data. Uh, 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 data. They speak like data. Huh? Data. Right. And how you speak this word? <laughs> How you speak this word? How you pronounce this word? Data? I don't oh. hear. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to open my mic. Uh, this word will say data. Data, right. And how you yeah. speak that? Yeah, data. Data. Actually, no. wrong, wrong, wrong. When you you take it from from uh, you take it from Oxford or Cambridge or on dictionary, no? they say data, right? Or data. But actually, it's not. No. This is Latin word. This is Latin word. Exactly Latin word. We never speak like that. Latin we say data. Data like Vietnamese, no? data. But most of the people they don't know na American and then then British they do they don't they they don't know how to they say data data like that na they cannot speak like that they they change the pronunciation data data right that's why most of the people the European then this many people you go to France or Germany and Italy some people they speak data data yeah data they don't say data data so but. When people speak data, a lot of people, most of the people speak data because they copy from Oxford or Cambridge or like, and they say my pronunciation is correct. Then now you have to say now you also say data. Okay, no problem. I say data, but if I say data, no problem. Data is the exact pronunciation in Latin. This will come from Latin. You have to pronounce like that. But it's okay on if on a if on a pronounced data, no problem, data because that time now we cannot change the mind because they already my brand wash na. People already brand wash, their brand already wash. Just we can we can don't, don't we we we, we, we do, they don't actually now the people don't they don't like to change. They don't like to change. Uh, excuse me, I want to ask the questions. And how can we check or how can we know the the pronouns in uh, Latin words? Because okay. we don't have any skill for this one. Yes, you can go to YouTube and you search 
this word data how to pronounce nah? then the people there exactly they pronounce that word it is that sixty percent of words sixty percent of words in English is come from Latin city to city, city to seventy percent come from Latin yes how we check that how you check that right. now you can go uh, from Google you can check that yes okay Thank you. so don't afraid wrong or right here because even the people who are speaking English in front of you then even they speak wrong and we are wrong no problem now but we are not wrong now we are, we speak exact exact that's one live in thin Viet we say for in Vietnam then if you take if you take our words then you have to say for they don't say for for or something like right or wrong this is their words then you have to speak like that our word we have to speak like that don't say far 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 or for 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 like we say far okay okay i just give you one example you can understand b m how how you pronounce this bmv yes bmv <laughs> for you say bmw wrong nah. this is the uh, the german car then you you have to pronounce uh, bmw so and okay let's see that check the pronunciation of that Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. B B M I at how to pronounce BMW, the German car and motorbike manufacturer, how to say the name of the brand in its original language, German, this is of course. We'll also look at how to pronounce the full name in German and what the acronym BMW actually means. Of course, Germans do not say BMW, but they normally refer to the brand as BMW. BMW, which stands for Bayerische Motoren Werke which in turn translates into Bavarian Motor Works because the brand was founded and is headquartered in Munich in the region of Bavaria, Germany. It's as simple as that. The excellent BMW cars, or if you want to sound fancy and knowledgeable about them, you must know and remember that it means Bayerische Motorenwerke, Bavarian Motor Works. I think the M1 remains my favorite BMW model ever. What's yours? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to give this vid a quick like before you go. Auf Wiedersehen. Now you see now, the people in, in, in Germany, they never say BMW. But now the English people, then uh, most of the English uh, students now, they uh, teach us and they, they, how they talk and how they speak. BMW, right? It's wrong, eh? Now, see one more, then we finish. So, data. Now, data. How to say data? Okay, let's check how these people. Uh, you want to know how I pronounce this word? And I just say the word? This word? D A T A. D A T A. Data or data? Uh, all right, data. It's all about. It, I mean, that's. It's all about data. 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 That's data. 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 This word is data. It's always been data. Data, like database, data set. <laughs> that is how I was taught to pronounce that word. Data. And data. It forever will be data. I say data. I've always said data. I think depending upon the situation, I'll say data. Data. Or I'll 
say data. Well, so I pronounce it data, and I think that was the name of the kid on Goonies. I say data. I have no idea why. Data. So that's why I say that this is data and not data. Of course, now that I work for a software company, I think I might question that. So, being totally honest, I pronounce the word data. It sounds better to me, it's easier coming off my tongue, but I know the proper pronunciation is data. Okay, now you see, he said, I, 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 I say data. It is easy for me to pronounce, but I know the exact pronunciation is data. But yeah, say, uh, listen again. Pronunciation is data. I know the proper, it sounds better to me, it's easier. So being totally honest, I pronounce the word data. It sounds better to me, it's easier coming off my tongue, but I know the proper pronunciation is data. You see, the British or Americans, when they, they cannot pronounce exact, exact the, the pronunciation in the Latin words or something like, and they just speak, uh, they feel comfortable, nah? right wrong. Data, if they feel comfortable, then speak. And now, when you speak, even when you speak, then you feel comfortable. And then, you speak like that and don't care. Don't care. Uh, you are wrong or something because they are wrong now. When we, that's why you see Indian or you see Filipino. When they speak, they say, they, they don't copy the American or British. They say, like the T sound, they say, they don't like to speak. Ten. They don't. They don't. They feel comfortable. Uh, comfortable when they speak ten, and they don't say ten. Ten like that. One two. No, they just one two. One two. I feel comfortable when I speak like that. And what's problem? No problem. No? Yeah. So. Be knowledgeable. You should be knowledgeable. And uh, then then then. Okay. Now time is over. Then. Uh, uh, we continue this lesson uh, in the next class okay next week we, we meet again then we will talk any question no no question i love no, no. and i have some ideas and the lesson